Okay, so I have to make a video just now. I'm watching EastEnders. I'm, I'm a little a few days behind, um, but I'm catching up on EastEnders. And I, I love EastEnders because however shit my life is, I can watch things that happen on EastEnders and just be like, well, at least that hasn't happened to me. Well, at least that hasn't happened to me. Um, and, you know, a lot of characters die on EastEnders, yes. Um, and very few people have actually died in my life. So um, I can't relate on, on a lot of levels, actually, when it comes to EastEnders. But um, sometimes I do. Sometimes I see stories and be like, okay, yeah, that's similar. Um, uh, I, I think EastEnders is good, though, because it, it is all about family and they do look after their family. Okay, they also betray and do a ton of other things but I don't know EastEnders is the people on there a lot of the characters are kind of awful but at the same time they do represent real people that exist in society and I feel like a bet a, a good way to have a connection with the tv is or a, with the society is to watch things like that and just know that yeah there are types of people like this there are types of people like this there are types of people like this and um it's, it's really interesting because the uh um, Prince Charles and Camilla have entered into EastEnders and I don't know I, like when it comes to the royal family I have no preference um, I respect the Queen um, I think she's she's old um, and therefore didn't grow up with the era of TV and doesn't probably doesn't understand how music could be so um, dynamic um, and, you know, I, I, I respect that all older people would probably be freaked out by the amount of power that's, that it has. Um, but, um, yeah, that, that aside, um, Charles, like, I've never seen him anywhere. I've never seen him do anything. Like, I know he probably does do stuff for charity and stuff. And it's just like, but that's, that's not, like, that doesn't affect me. In my life. I don't know what he's doing. I've never seen him. He's... And so if someone was to be like, oh, yeah, do you think Charles should be king? I'm just like, I, I have no reason to say yes. I have no reason to say no. But I mean, I, I guess the reason to say yes is that um, I believe that, if you know, I think the whole point of it being the next in generation is that, you know, it's God's selection because God would have set up the souls to go into the next generation. And therefore, God would know which one by birthright would be the next next of kin and stuff so I, I feel like that's that's good but at the same time when it comes to Charles I just I've never seen him I've never really I have no idea what he does I, I I'm not how I, I don't even know how I'd find out I don't think I'd care enough to find out but I feel like if, if you want to connect with the public if you want to be seen you, you have to be on tv you have to be on EastEnders or things that people watch you know if, if he shows up does an appearance on EastEnders like this tea thing that they're doing you know billions of or millions how many people watch EastEnders I don't know a million people watch EastEnders so if you go on tv and you're if you're on EastEnders or something you know a million people are watching you and therefore you've just reached out to a million people whereas if you just go to some random tea party where there's a few hundred people you know people from that distance will be like kind of trying to see and you'll see someone and you're just like you know there was some I went to that big lineup where there was a big long payroll thing and I, I don't know there was someone there um didn't know who he was never seen him heard of him I, I don't really follow the royal family I, I don't I don't look up to them basically I just I just see them as a family that's got money um but yeah, that that's all the royal family is to me. Oh, and I'm really liking the coins. I love how the queen's head is on the back of the coins. That's my, um, you know, I, I have loads. I, I collect coins and I've got loads of Disney ones. And the, yeah, the ones that just say token, like Disney token on the back, it just doesn't feel the same as having like the queen's head on the back. I, I really, if I was to have my own line, I would love to have like um, a selection of really cool films. I actually get get a selection of coins that have all the best films on it, or all the best singers or celebrities or whatever. And then you have a nice picture. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is. Uh, get a nice picture, and then at the back, put my head on the back. That would be kind of cool. That would be something I'd love to do. But yeah, that to me is is the the thing that the queen is just a picture on a coin. Um, like I, I respect and I know she does a lot and people always say she does a lot, but it, it's like I, I've heard that she sends Christmas cards and technically she doesn't have to send Christmas cards. She can just get her people to send Christmas cards. And I, I, I'm not I'm not talking about the queen. I'm just saying that it's, it's nice to see 
Charles on EastEnders because that is probably the only time that I would see him or I don't know if people watch Emmerdale or whatever I don't I don't watch the other ones um but yeah if if you want to be a sort of people person you have to be on TV because that is the only way people are going to see you you know if I'm talking and I had a, a a Jewish client, which is really strange because I've only had, I'll, I've been working as a masseuse for like 10, 12 weeks, a long time. And the number of Jewish people that is not just Jewish, but like Jewish and wears sort of black suits um, to literally, I've only had about two people. And because I was saying like, yeah, I know who you are because of how I saved your name. And he was just like, how do you, you save your name? I was like, oh, Jewish guy, which is really strange how I know who I'm talking about if I just type that but it's just interesting because you know I was talking to him and I gave him a, a rundown of just summing up everything I, I assumed that he didn't know anything and I, I don't think he does actually um but I wasn't quite sure at the beginning because I'm getting paranoid over who knows and who doesn't know but he came up he bought me jelly babies he bought me two packets of jelly babies I have finished it but it does take me I can't eat the whole pack in a day it takes, I eat half a pack each day um have I started on the other pack have actually started on the other pack. Um, but yes um but yeah you know, it's it's i can talk to him as much as i want and tell him everything but at the end of the day that's not going to reach out to anyone and you know there's no point of just doing things to the smaller local community i mean there is point but there isn't because the majority of people aren't going to find out or like you know if, if someone asks me what does charles do i i have no clue i i've never Sometimes he, I'm sure he has charities and stuff, but I, I, I'm not involved in the charities. Whereas I think if you can be involved in TV, um, then you can branch out to just so many more people. And that's why the TV is so important. And I think, I don't know if the Royal Family really has to be involved in, in stuff, but I think if you, if you are, you know, if you are a queen or something, you, you have to be involved in the TV because that's the best way to reach out to as many people as possible. And and influence them or you know just let them know what you're doing you know if, if you want to to if you want to promote charities or whatever you're know, going on eastenders and 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 promoting something or you know going on something that people watch is is the best way to do it and so yeah when it comes to the royal family i feel like it's just a bit of a you know you see her on the court on the money you see the queen's face on the money and that that's really all all like i i, I don't know I don't get involved in real charity stuff. I, I, I don't. I just got other things and charities. I don't know. I, don't, I wouldn't even look at it. I wouldn't even consider. My mum's often watching things, um, but I, I think it's she's of of a older generation, and um, I think people like to follow people that are of a similar age. And so, if the queen is of an older age, I think it would attract just that alone would attract an older audience and Prince Charles as well would attract uh, the sort of the 50, 60 year old audience and um, the younger ones would attract the, the younger audience. But um, yeah, that's what I'm saying.